idea. So we were talking about like back in the day, remember those like you get 20 CDs for a penny from BMI and VGA and Columbia, Columbia House and all the people like that. I'm thinking it's more of the story. Why are they letting these CDs go for low? It's like an honor system of paying. Either credit doesn't matter. You know, that's the whole thing about getting woke about credit cards. Or they were giving out CDs that had like a frequency to lower your vibration to make you more susceptible to be a slave in the system. Like free flu shots. But you don't pay for the flu shot. Who do pay for a flu shot? I don't know what the fuck you're going to pay for a shot of flu. That's you, bro. But like the same sense of like these free CDs. It's like free lollipops at a pedophile convention. You know what I'm saying? It's like what layer of these music industries and their standards of values and morals does it exist to like make this normal to, hey, hey, we got these seeds out and they hope to get paid, but they're fishing. They're fishing, but it's like almost like COVID on the back end. It's like yeah. you, you can get paid from the, from the, from the booster. You're going to get paid from the mass sales. It's like the pop. It's, you got a theater. You can get paid on the back end for the popcorn. You can have a show at my bar. We're going to charge you ticket sales, but we keep doing all the bar tabs because, you know, 18 times the price. And that's what I'm thinking is accepted in these old CDs on the low to just make these people popular. How they have marketing teams and plugs. All right, you in a major label. You can have your song picked from people that would never have bought your shit in the store. And, you know, for you to get in this club and get that much access to get your stuff possibly sold, you also got to go to these couple of Illuminati cars and grab your ankles. Side story, just getting too deep, just throw it all in the air, don't take it personal, 10 cents.